More specifically, they have one of the fastest defensive tackles in the entire game. He actually is the fastest, but he's got 89 speed and he's only 22 years old. Next up for the Chargers, we all know they have one of the best safeties in the game in 6'2", Derwin James, who's 91 speed. But a lot of people don't know, they also have a 6'2 safety who's got 93 speed in JT Woods. But a little lesser known gem is Isaiah Bolden, who's a 6'2", 95 speed cornerback all the way at the bottom of the depth chart. So these are two guys you should definitely be building up because they're both physical freaks. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no band guaranteed delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Teams. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff with the Mad Chiefs, as always. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the best sleeper players to build in CFM for every team in the game. All 32 teams. I'm going to show you guys the best lowly rated young players that you might not know about, but you definitely should try to find, whether it's on your team or to trade from another person's team so you can build them up. Starting with my own team, the Philadelphia Eagles. As you can see, I have a little bit of a background story as to why Tristan McCollum, who I'm sure is a player you've never heard of, is currently the reigning defensive player of the year and he's done it in only seven games played and this is because even i didn't know how good this player was until about halfway through the season when i made a trade at the trade deadline that left me one player short for my defensive scheme and i had to start using this player tristan mccullum and despite only playing half the year, he's leading the league in interceptions and is currently the defensive player of the year. And that's because this guy's an absolute physical freak at six foot three with a 91 speed, a 93 acceleration, and a 92 agility, as well as a 90 change of direction, making him perfect as a user player. In fact, if I go to the entire NFL, the entire league, and separate it by change of direction, Tristan McCollum is tied for first among all strong safeties, which I gotta be honest, I had no idea about. So I wanted to tell this guy's story first before I got into the video but as always if you guys want to see more CFM videos like this please make sure to be a subscriber hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that's going to get right into the video and if I left out your favorite sleeper player please let me and everyone else know in the comment section below now I'm gonna try to stick to one player per team starting off with the Chicago Bears and work my way in alphabetical order and I'm gonna go all the way down to the final cornerback on this roster in Josh Blackwell who is 24 years old but more importantly has a 94 speed speed is very important in all aspects of the game but one of the more underrated attributes to this guy's game is he also has a 91 agility and a 92 acceleration agility is very important when it comes to cornerbacks because if they have poor agility a lot of times when the receiver breaks they lose acceleration they can't keep up with them so to have a 91 agility as well as a 94 speed it makes this guy a really good uh, shell of a player to build the Bengals have a couple different options so I'm just going to give them all away Chase Brown is a 93 speed 23 year old running back with a 95 acceleration so that's a really fast running back to build up at cornerback, they have DJ Turner, who's a 97 speed player at only 22 years old and also has a 98 acceleration, making him the perfect shell of a player if whether you want to send him on cornerback blitzes or have him in coverage since he's six foot tall. Next up for the Buffalo Bills, I got former first round pick Kair Elam, who's six foot one. He's only 22 years old. He's got a 93 speed as well as a 90 acceleration. Next up with the Denver Broncos, we have a running back by the name of Jaleel McCaughlin, who's actually a really good player in real life. Uh, I think he got injured this last year, but what makes this guy so special, he's only 22 years old. He has 92 speed and 92 acceleration. His agility is not too great, but this guy has great straight line speed. And if you improve elusive back, he can get some more speed points added. And there's also coaching trees where you can improve that speed as well so if you do these things if you get the plus three speed boost through the coaching tree and you get a speed boost point here or there um, from you know upgrading this player you could easily get this guy to like a 96 or 97 speed in no time next up for the browns deshaun watson's only is 74 overall so if you want to build a young player there did just draft a player by the name of dorian thompson robinson who's only 61 overall but he's 23 years old and he has all the physical traits you would want like an a7 speed which is the fastest on the roster and his throw power would be the next indicator as if it's too small a lot of times it's not worth building but he has an 89 so to me that's something that you could also build once again in the coaching tree or by upgrading upgrading a strong arm when you get points making this guy an easy build to get to above uh, a 90 throw power in no time and to me he has all the physical traits next up for the Buccaneers they got a couple of really fast receivers deep on their depth chart guys like Trey Palmer and Devin Tompkins are both 94 and 95 speed but me personally 
personally, I like the six foot tall Trey Palmer since I find it difficult to throw to short receivers that are like 5'8 or 5'7. These guys just don't seem to have much of a catch radius. So I'd much rather go with the faster, taller guy in Trey Palmer. Next up for the Arizona Cardinals, we have tight end Elijah Higgins. This guy is six foot three, 22 years old, and has an 89 speed with a 90 acceleration. Typically, tight ends don't get that fast. The closer you get to 90 speed, the, the more elite speed that player is. But they also have the perfect user linebacker and one of the fastest middle linebackers in the game in Owen Papo, who is 93 speed with a 95 acceleration and also has an 84 agility. So that means he's going to have a pretty good change of direction as well as an 81. Next up for the Chargers, we all know they have one of the best safeties in the game in 6'2", Derwin James, who's 91 speed. But a lot of people don't know they also have a 6'2 safety who's got 93 speed in JT Woods, making this guy the perfect user with a 93 acceleration and 87 change of direction. I probably had the hardest time finding uh, some sleepers for the Chiefs because I think most people know about McCole Harbin, who's only 25 years old with a 96 speed. That's one of the fastest receivers in the game, so you definitely want to build him up. But they also have two really good outside linebackers like Leo Chanel, who's only 22 years old with an 88 speed, and Willie Gay, who's 25 with an 88 speed. So take your pick between those three players. Now, when it comes to the Colts, I'm going to try to skip over obvious answers like Anthony Richardson who's a 91 speed quarterback with a great arm uh, but there are a lot of other players that are worth mentioning more specifically they have one of the fastest defensive tackles in the entire game he actually is the fastest and I'm not even going to try to say his name but he's got 89 speed and he's only 22 years old but they also have one of the fastest quarterbacks in the game named Amir Speed who has a 95 speed at 6 foot 3 and a 92 acceleration so these are definitely guys that are worth building up in any CFM for the Commanders, Sam Howell is actually a pretty good build since he's only 22 years old. He has 82 speed and he has 92 throw power, making this guy a pretty decent quarterback to build up in CFM. Cowboys have a lot of options as well with guys like Trey Lance, who's still only 23 years old with 87 speed and I'm pretty sure his throw power is above 90 as well. But let's go ahead and we'll double check that. Yeah, 91. So perfect shell for a quarterback. But they also have a ton of cheap speed linebacker candidates like Marcus Bell, who's a 6'3", 92 speed linebacker because he's a four former safety so he's a very good player to build as well at only 24 years old now when it comes to the Dolphins they have a 23 year old linebacker by the name of Channing Tindall who's only been in the league for about a year he's got 91 speed and 94 acceleration a awesome user candidate or guy you can send off the edge on blitzes I know I already showed one player from the Eagles but Ben Van Sumer has got a 91 speed only 23 years old he's a solid option to build and they also have Keely Ringo who's 6 foot 2 21 years old 94 speed 95 acceleration making these some very good candidates for some defensive builds. For the Falcons, if you need a quarterback, 24-year-old Desmond Ritter is a very good candidate as he has elite speed at 88 and he also has a 91 throw power, meaning he has all the physical tools to eventually be a very good quarterback in CFM. And they also have an elite speed linebacker and 24-year-old Troy Anderson who has 91 speed, 93 acceleration, and 85 change of direction, making him a perfect user candidate. For the Niners, they drafted a guy by the name of Danny Gray not too long ago. The guy's got 95 speed. He's six foot tall. Definitely one of the better receivers you should be using on this team. The Giants got a couple of different options, starting with Jalen Hyatt, who was a second round pick, I think, just last year. Six foot tall, 94 speed, all you really need to know. They also have Isaiah Simmons, but I'm guessing most people know about him since he's one of the fastest linebackers in the game. He's still only 25 years old. Next up for the Jaguars, they have a lot of really good outside linebackers, but don't forget about Yasir Abdullah, who's 23 years old and has a 90 speed as well as a 95 acceleration, which is probably one of the fastest in the game. Perfect for edge blitzing. Next up for the Jets, there's a lot of options here. They have a lot of cheap speed cornerbacks that are 93 speed or higher. You could go with a guy like Javelin Guidry, who's only 5'9". He's definitely good for blitzes and stuff like that. But my favorite would probably be Jarek Bernard Converse, since he's 6'1 with 93 speed and 93 acceleration. Next up for the Lions, I'm going to stretch this just a little bit and say Hendon Hooker, because he is 25 years old, which is a little bit old to the point where it's like really borderline if I want to put him on this list. But he is a rookie, and his physical tools are really good. He's got A6 speed and 89 throw power, uh, which, you know, are all right on the cusp of what I would consider, uh, you know, traits that I would want for a young franchise quarterback. The hardest part to put him on here is his age, and he just must have been a little bit older by the time that he came into the NFL. But since it's so hard to find quarterbacks for so many people, I wanted to put him on this list. For the Packers, they have an obvious top of the depth chart guy in Luke Musgrave, who is an 89 speed tight end, but I would imagine most people would pick up on that. I'm going to go a little bit deeper in the receiving core here for Bo Melton, who's a 94 speed receiver, who also has 93 acceleration. Uh, definitely one of the faster receivers on the roster. 
For the Panthers, they have a six foot six outside linebacker by the name of Amaro Barno. At least that's how I think you say his name. He's six foot six, but he's also got a 92 speed and a 93 acceleration. I Meaning you can send this guy on blitzes or maybe even use him over the middle of the field with that size. For the Patriots, I don't want to be too obvious again, but if you don't know about Tyquan Thornton, he's a six foot two, 96 receiver, and you should definitely be starting him. But a little lesser known gem is Isaiah Bolden, who's a six foot two, 95 speed cornerback all the way at the bottom of the depth chart. So these are two guys you should definitely be building up because they're both physical freaks. For the Raiders, they got one of the best options in the game with Ja'Cory Bennett, who's only 5'11", but he has a 96 speed and a 97 acceleration. So whether you want to send him off the edge on blitzes or eventually work him up to be a coverage cornerback, he should be able to do both. For the Rams, they have a 92 speed outside linebacker rookie by the name of Byron Young, who's also got 93 acceleration. Doesn't have great change of direction, so he's not really a user candidate, but he's definitely a good player to come off the edge on blitzes. The Ravens have a lot of candidates, but since quarterbacks are so rare, I want to throw the name Malik Cunningham out there since he has 88 speed and 87 throw power, and he is a 24-year-old rookie. So if you're looking for a quarterback, this guy is a prime candidate, as well as Tyler Huntley who is a little bit more known because he's played a little bit more in the NFL and actually won some games. He's got similar uh, attributes, but I still feel like this guy here would be the better option. After that, I'm sure most people know about Keith Mitchell since he has one of the fastest running backs in the game at 94 speed, 95 acceleration. And they also have Trenton Simpson, a 6'2", 91 speed, 95 acceleration middle linebacker who could be a blitzer or could be a user. For the Saints, I have the rare defensive end here in Isaiah Foskey, who's a rookie with A6 speed and 90 acceleration. A lot of blitzes are designed in ways to get players in free, so it really only matters how fast you are. This is one of the faster players that I've found as far as a defensive end or a defensive lineman goes and they also have a six foot one cornerback by the name of Alante Taylor who's got 94 speed and 94 acceleration as well for the Seattle Seahawks a guy that barely makes the cut as far as age is Devin Bush who's 25 years old but he's also an 89 speed linebacker which is pretty rare so you could put him as an outside linebacker and send him on blitzes or use him as a user and he's still young enough to build up I know I said I don't like short receivers but Calvin Austin is a player that I've used quite a bit and I love this guy he's five foot nine with 95 speed and 96 acceleration but they also have one of the fastest outside linebackers in the game and former Eagle draft pick Kyron Johnson who has a 92 speed and a 93 acceleration at only 25 years old. And they also have a 6 foot 2 93 speed corner in Darian Rush giving you plenty of options of players to build up on this roster. The Texans have two in Brevin Jordan, who's an A7 speed tight end, which is getting to that point where it's pretty uh, high up there. There's not a ton of tight ends faster than that. And they also have a really fast outside linebacker in Christian Harris, who's only 22 years old. And anytime you have a 90 or above speed linebacker, you could use him or you can send him on blitzes. Now, the Tennessee Titans have two quarterbacks, whether you like Will Levis, who has a 94 throw power and only an 80 speed, or my personal pick, Malik Willis, who is a 90 speed quarterback has horrible accuracies but he also has a 93 throw power so to me this guy is worth the growing pains because of that extra speed and i would definitely prefer to build him but they also have a six foot two cornerback by the name of caleb farley who i think was a first or second round pick at a 95 speed 92 agility and a 95 acceleration with a 92 change of direction which i'm sure is one of the highest on the roster and in the game the vikings have two options at running back with ty chandler and keeney i'm not sure how to say his name who are both 93 and 94 speed respectively but this player here has a 95 acceleration and an 88 agility making him a much better option in my opinion for a running back long term and on defense they have a player by the name of lewis scene i think it was a second or third round pick not too long ago he's six foot two 23 years old with 92 speed and 94 acceleration making him a perfect user or a guy in coverage so i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there if you guys want to see more cfm tips videos like this i'll have them popping up on screen and if you want to see more videos like this in general please make sure to be subscribed hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man money shut out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below